Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Yone. It's been a while since I played this champion. Uh, one of our most played champions last season. Um, this time I've not been playing that much. I mostly played for the videos, but here we go. Yone against TF. Pretty uh, simple lane, honestly. You just play around the gold cards. That's like time your E perfectly, so it denies the um, DC of his gold cards. And the main thing we have to watch out for now is the Rexire. Because Shone is pretty easy to gank. Um, good thing is that he's not as reliable on something like Cleanse compared to Yasuo or other champions uh, when they're against a lot of CC because of how his E works. We're just gonna chill and we can go for trades like level 2 and level 3 depending on how he plays. I'm gonna take E level 2 here because I might be able to get a good trade off if he wastes his W. He did. That's a good one. So I took a lot of damage, but I had drawn a shield and I also had second win. So I had a lot of sustain, right? I'm just gonna try to like um, get rid of all of his potions. And then level three, we can go for an even better trade when we have the W up. That's fine. So he does not have um, Electrocute. He's running Predator, so his landing phase is not as strong as it could be, but late game a bit more annoying. Later mid game. Because he's getting um, long range gold cards with the rapid fire cannon and then you also cannot really escape him. Oops, eat a little bit too early. He's probably gonna reset now. But we are ahead in farm, so that's great. I think I'm gonna stay for this one. Oh no. Ah, that's so random that he decided to go for that. Because I was pushed in, so I could not match it. Rexai probably coming from a, for a gang from this way. Red buff, TF. I think I prefer TF with a blue buff or red one. Because otherwise it just perma auto attacks you to death. I might actually be able to kill him, but Rek'Sai might be looking for a gank mid. There he is. I'm gonna instantly flash because I don't know what to use right. Um, I might still die. Okay. So I don't know if Rek'Sai has to flash up and also don't know if TF has it. So I'm just gonna flash out. Because otherwise I think there's a pretty high chance that I just die. And I don't want to int more than we already did. I'm in the early game when they invaded and I was not able to move. Because I think I can totally kill this guy based on how he plays. Well, this is in a good spot for me. He did not set up the wave. I guess he was low uh, mana. But yeah, the thing we have to worry about is the Rek'Sai. If Rek'Sai is not here, I can get away with playing really aggressive. And the Janna as well, because supports just perma room uh, nowadays. I'm just gonna let this wave push in. Because I don't have flash up, and if I constantly show it without flash, I'm gonna die. I need level 6. Has tier 2 boots. This guy, of course, has prio. Like, you don't get prior against the Twister Fate as a melee champ early on. Like, that is not happening. Yeah, let's see. When you don't have your flash up. What? I thought I eat out. No, uh, we should not fight this. I'm fine mid. I am. I'm good, so I don't need it. He's level 6 though. I just need to ping here so they know. Even though they know, they're probably still gonna end it some way. Like, I would not be surprised. I need to push this. 
Because there's a fight happening, Lee Sin is gonna die. Bro, he has level 6. Why, why would you go for this? Why is he going for this? I don't understand. There is zero reason for him to try this at all. As a tier for level 6. We have skilling champs, so I don't understand what the purpose of that was. Now you got lots of value from that room. Yeah, Lisa actually costed a lot. Alright, we can go ahead and uh, reset. We are ahead in farm though, like he's getting a lot of kills and assists, but we are farming well. I'm not gonna stay for the uh, dagger here, even though it's pretty close, because I don't want to miss this entire wave. But I need to find a kill on this guy soon. I'm a little bit rusty on Yone because I've not been playing him for a while. It's okay, it's okay. Might be bot. I think he's bot. Break side is top side, so if he shows himself, then I can go ham. Normally against TF, you place a ward around here, uh, because when you do so, then. After he showed out the wave, you can see which direction he's roaming towards, and then you can warn your teammates. He's still far behind in CS, so it's okay. Rek'Sai might be coming from subside. But I do have the ultimate up, in case something happens. What is he doing? I can constantly pressure him, but the problem is Rek'Sai, right? So when you play against a Rek'Sai, you have to respect the early ganks. If you don't respect the early ganks, he's gonna snowball out of control. It's also why it makes it a bit hard for me to like, stick to this TF. That's a good one, got some extra gold. Got some extra gold. They just need to not force anything, that's all we have to do. Just let me push it in. Alright, got the Herald. He's gonna run top soon. Okay, Rek'Sai mid. Rek'Sai like pretty squishy, but that's the Prolos, I'm gonna get one shot. Like, I think they're gonna try to roam top with the Rek'Sai. Okay, Rek'Sai is top. Like, you're playing a skilling champ, so there's no reason for you to, like, um, rush things, you know? There's really no reason to. Uh, because you're gonna outskill times a million, and you're gonna destroy people later on, so no reason to just go ham. Is he gonna try to cancel? Okay, she's not. Good, I'm gonna get a control ward. If we get a uh, kill on the TF mid, like Lee Sin uh, Nautilus comes, he has his ultimate up. Uh, he's gonna reset now. I can pressure as long as Rek'Sai is not here. But the problem is Rek'Sai. 
I'm gonna go bot now because I think he's gonna ult bottom side. Okay, nice. If I did not E like that, I would have been dead. That's a Rex out Prolus Claw, like, I'm, I'm getting one shot. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna cancel his holds. I'm not gonna let him. There we go. There we go. That's how he shot him down. That is how we shot him down. If we keep this up, then it's gonna be a really easy win. Yeah, we haven't really done anything besides farming and playing it safe, but that's also fine. Because I am in, not in a position where I need to force stuff. That's a really good trade as well. Using that W to tank the incoming damage. Right, Kaiser going in uh, mid. It'd be nice if they fixed the wave first though. So side lane, that's the fun part usually on Yone. Sometimes it can be really difficult to look for kills mid. Especially if the opponent just shoves in rooms. But side lane, extended lane, a lot harder to escape. Ultimate, otherwise that Janna would have been dead. Like a um, Q3 insult, guaranteed death. Nothing I can recall because he's doing the Drake, so I'm just gonna head back for lane and hope Rexa is not around. He has not been able to gank me at all. And that's what's huge. Because Rexa falls off really hard if they don't snowball. Just by not getting ganked, you win, pretty much. RIP. Tank Karma meeting a tank Mordekaiser. Well, I can't even get one assist. Right. Imagine having, having zero kill participation 15 minutes in. No sleep, no rest. I just outlaned him pretty hard. Let's get out of here. I can get the shield bow. They might get a uh, the goal a tower bounty. Yeah, they're getting it. And low HP targets too. That would have been a juicy ultimate. Let's go. The Q3 
securing the vision. Mark has almost has the ultimate up. Wow, nice. Wow, the first kill. Kill participation, first one, let's go. Alright, not bad damage, not bad at all. Rexai didn't even get the grump. This guy must be so angry. This might be warded. Yeah, it is. Fight me lane, I'll rip. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna recall. If I had ultimate, I would have went for it. He has a lot of damage, but he's also really squishy. Like, insanely squishy. Has the Serpent's Fang for... Yeah, actually good against us. Like, my shield bow. My W, Lee Sin's W, uh, Mordecai's a W. Not sure if it works against this one as well. Might do actually. Bound to the world of the living. But I can one shot Rek'Sai if I ma manage to land the ultimate. But look at that damage he had. Rolls Claw gives so much damage. And then also my Immortal Shield Bow. Shield almost useless because of the uh, Serpent's Fang. So far, so good. We have a really good team this game. And I have to admit, that's pretty rare. Alright, let's just keep splitting. That's how you get these high CS numbers. That's how I managed to stay like above 8, 9 CS per minute on champions like the Yone. I spend a lot of time in the side lanes and then when I push out the waves, I also take away the camps, jungle camps. Please don't have flash up. Oh my god, I am so dead. Please run out. Yeah, I don't think that was the way. I agreed it a bit too much. I completely forgot about the Twister Fate. But you know, this is good against shields, but the next time we're going to get the Death Stance, it's good against everything except for true damage. And if Rek'Sai cannot one-shot somebody in a combo, um, he's gonna lose. Kill this, get the big axe. Almost have the Infinity Edge and then just dance. Two levels ahead because I'm spending a lot of time in the sideline. Twist of Fate is not, but they have to play around his utility now. Long range gold cards with the Predator. They need to find picks that way because if they don't, they're gonna get out damaged really hard. Oh, good odds. Oh, 
Oh, he ulted the Rek'Sai, that's a nice one. We, we should do Baron, no? Do we not do Baron? Oh, they, they want the inhibitor. Mordecai is going there alone. Looks like we're just sticking with the um, inhibitor. We can actually just go for the Baron straight up. Should be no problem. This guy is huge. What? Crossfire Mordecai, sir. Super tank. But oh, that's AD Kaiser. I actually thought that would be AP. That's why I picked an AD mid. Because I don't like having lots of AP. They might actually FF here as well. Because this is pretty doomed for them. And we outscaled really hard. Like, none of them scale as well as Yone does. Like, they have, of course, they have Jin, but. We will not allow him to do anything. We have Nautilus Ultimate, Mordekaiser, Lisa and Alt, so we're really good at shutting down um, the main carry on that team. Just continue the split pushing. Now we have the Baron too. Or is he? No. Okay, nice. Good change CC by the Nautilus. Thank God he ju didn't just run away and abandon me. Ah, it's hard. It's like a more passive game on Yone because you won't be able to like find a million kills every single game, you know. It's a more passive one. We just skill up, but I also had a good team this time around. Long range gold cards. Just got blasted. Man, this Rex is so angry. Really trying. Nice. GG's. Pretty chill game actually. But that's how it goes sometimes. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching and see you all next time guys.